Hello beautiful people, I hope everybody is having an amazing day. I today wanted to do my top amount of red lipsticks. Now I'm filming this intro at the end of doing my lipsticks and I can't actually remember how many I put on for you today. I think there was at least six. At least six. But I'm so excited. I did like a full range of reds. I've got this red, which is like a brighter red. I've got an even brighter red. I've got like an orange tone red, berry tone red, a darker red. So I hope you like it. These are like my top picks of my favorite kind of red lipstick colors. Not necessarily red red. Some of them are more of a berry tone red. But these are like my favorite ones for winter. This color I would totally rock in summer because it is a brighter red and you can totally pull it off with a tan looks amazing I'm excited I've wanted to do this video for a really long time so let's get into it this one is MAC Lady Danger I really really like this it completely reminds me of my summer of 2014 I rocked this color all summer I loved it it is a beautiful bright red, but it has a very orange undertone to it. It is a matte formula from MAC. It is super comfortable on the lips. I usually would wear a lip liner with this. I have one from Ella Masca. And I just think it's really easy to apply. I haven't done a perfect swatch right now, but I just think it is a beautiful colour. And um, it is very bright, but it's very flattering. And it really goes well with like your greeny blue eyes. It is very flattering in that respect as well. So, super comfortable, my brightest one I'm going to show you today, and you can totally still rock this in winter. I think it is beautiful. I love this one. It is the Colourish Eva's Pure Red. I really like how this one is in a super blue based bright red. It has definitely got a little bit more of a terracotta undertone, especially compared to Blake's red that I have as well. But the formula of this is beautiful. It is so easy to glide on. It is very comfortable on the lips and it is very affordable with it being L'Oreal. So if you like that kind of color, so it's not super bright, not super in your face, but it's still a very nice red and it's semi matte. It definitely doesn't have a gloss finish to it. So if you like that kind of finish, I would definitely check this one out. I really love this colour. This is the Laura Mercier Rouge lip colour and it is in the shade Muse. It is a matte formula. It is the lightest feeling matte formula I own. It's just like one swipe and there's so much pigment. It's more of a berry undertone but it still has that kind of red bitten colour coming through. And I think it is beautiful. It is super comfortable on the lips. It's quite a convenient little applicator. It is um, quite slimline, so it's really easy to apply. And I really like this color. I think it's just, it lasts beautifully. And that's really what you want from a dark color. But also the pigment is perfect. It's not patchy. You don't need a lip liner with this one. And it will last really well throughout the day. So it's definitely a winner in my books. So one of my favourites is the NARS, this is the Velvet Matte Lip Pencil and it is in the shade Cruella. It is stunning, it is a beautiful matte formula, it is a very comfortable matte formula, like you could see the pigment is just beautiful, it goes on really well. It is quite easy to apply, some of the matte lipsticks not so much, but this pencil is really easy to apply. It lasts really well and I just love the matte colour, it's just like nothing too intense but it just, it just works. Like, I love it and I mean I've used quite a bit of it so. That says something. It's, yeah, it's just so easy, and I will have this in my bag all the time during winter just to check on, probably along with that um, Laura Messier one as well. I really like this color. Um, this is the Lipstick Queen. It is the Cupid's Bow Desires shade. I think these are super comfortable. 
I picked this up when I used to work back in London. It is really nice. It's a bright red. Again, majorly comfortable on the lips. I also have this in a few other shades. So it's definitely got it more of a gloss finish and it is a brighter red. But I think it's one of those reds that makes your teeth look really white. So bonus. And um, yeah, it's just a bit more of a playful red. Something when it's not fully winter and it's not fully like dark and kind of like moody. But it's still light and you're getting into like the winter clothes. And I think it's a really fun colour for that. And once again, it was quite easy to apply straight from the pencil. This one is the Sephora, it is a Sephora collection and it is from the Luster Matte Long Wear Lip Colour range, it is in the shade Cranberry Luster. Now considering this one came out quite a bit before the big hype of the matte lipsticks, so it isn't really matte. I think it does dry down from memory, but also but also from memory I feel like it takes ages to dry down. So yeah, that kind of is annoying, but I do really like the colour and when it eventually does dry down it is really nice as well. I mean even with a little bit of a gloss finish it's still quite a nice shade and it is fun for the winter. It's definitely more of a berry undertone, so it changes it up from a little bit from what I have just shown you. Now, this is hands down one of my favorite ever red lipsticks. I, at one point, I don't know, but at one point I had three of these. Like, one I was using and two as backups. And it's drying down as I'm speaking and it is just amazing. This is the Sephora, I think it's the Cream Matte Lip Stain. Yeah, the Cream Lip Stain, it's in the shade 01. I adore the shade, it is my favourite red because when I wear a red, I want to wear a red and I don't want to have to worry about it. I don't want to have to worry about it getting on my teeth. Let's just double check. And also I just don't want to have to worry about it moving. One swipe, it's super pigmented, you only need one layer, you definitely don't want to do two because that's just like, it's too much. It will last you the night out. It is amazing, it is a gorgeous colour, it makes your teeth look really white. It's got that blue tone underneath to give you that kind of like brighter appearance and I just, I love this. I went to this event in Common Garden in London and the Pixie Woo sisters were talking and one of them even asked me what colour this was. It was in the crowd. Yeah. That happened and I was pretty damn excited about it and it is just amazing so these are like 14 euros I think maybe like 11 pounds amazing Sephora New Zealand you can get it online highly highly recommend it's my absolute favorite of all of these and yeah I'm pretty sure this was the one I was actually looking for when I originally picked up this because I didn't know we didn't have Sephora and yeah this is oh, it's amazing I haven't worn it for ages Coming into winter, I'm really loving it. I wear this all the time when I travel. I wear this all the time when I travel because it's just easy. It makes you look really put together without even trying. And you just don't worry about it. It stays, it's not drying, it's an amazing formula. Unfortunately, I've picked up a few of the other shades and I didn't really like them as much, so it seems like this is the only one for me. But yeah, check it out. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. I hope it served as some inspiration for you to rock out your reds, for you to dust them off from the summer months, or continue wearing them if you are going into spring and you've just been in the winter season. Because they are fun, they are fun all year round. I'm surprised my lips still look okay now because after all those lip swatches, they are so stained and they're not looking too bad. Might just be this lip colour, but we'll take it, we'll take it. Anyway, I hope you have an amazing day. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye. So, so gorgeous. It's like a pale gold colour. So it's definitely not as intense as like champagne pop, which I'm going to show later. So